G'day. I've got another one of these Creality Ender 3s. This one's misbehaving as well. Not extruding the filament very well. And as a result, 3D prints have all been really sketchy. The last 3D print job I put on, the filament stops feeding halfway through the job. Now it appears like no filament is flowing through the nozzle. So I'm going to see if I can get this thing working. And if I fix it, I'll share with you whatever I did to fix it. Otherwise, you get to watch me fail. As you can see, X and Y axes are moving fine. Um, I'll, you'll have to trust me that the Z axis is working fine as well. The filament feeder is rotating, but the, the filament isn't moving through. I can give it a little push here, and it seems to pick up and start moving, but then it's jammed. The first thing I'm going to check is the filament. Okay, right away I can see the filament is actually broken in the feeder there. It's probably a result of that little gear clicking over it so many times it's just worn through the plastic. But I can confirm that by taking the Bowden tube off. Slot the little C-clip out. Push the collar down into the machine and retract the Bowden tube. And the plastic is all jammed up there. To be able to retract the plastic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the nozzle to working temperature, 200 degrees for PLA. While that's warming up, I've started to set up a little bit of a toolkit for these things. I've got a pair of pliers, a good pair of cutters, some good quality Allen keys, along with all of the Allen keys that come in all of the boxes for all of these 3D printers. A collection of a few parts here, some screws, even some cable ties there. And I've got these great scrapers, which look like they've never been used. Also, I inherited with these 3D printers, I've got five of these in total, these Ender 3s that were left with me in my new job. And in addition to that is a box of spare parts that was also left with me. Anyway, hopefully out of the box of parts, I'll be able to make this thing work. And nozzles finally hit 200 degrees. Doesn't really take too long. Now I'm just going to grab the filament with pliers and pull it back through. You can see all along this filament evidence that it's been chafed through by the feed mechanism in particular here, it's chafed through enough to create a crack. There's another point here that's really quite rough all the way along. On the end there, there's a bit of a ball. That's probably pretty usual. The next thing I'm going to try and do is take the Bowden tube out here and see if I can feed through some of that plastic and feel how much resistance there is to the plastic going through the nozzle. So to do that I'm going to put the Z axis a little bit higher so I can see a bit more easily and I can access the bottom here. Now that nozzle is at 200 degrees so I'll try not to touch it too much. Just going to take out this C-clip. Same process as before, I just push the collar down and retract the Bowden tube. I'm going to pull off some filament off the reel here see what happens when I try and shove it through the nozzle okay
Not very much resistance. I did hear a little bit of a bubbly noise. And now that it's started to push through, the resistance has really increased. So it's kind of like squirted through for a minute, but then it become really resistant. And doesn't want to go in or out. All right, this time I'm going to do the same again with the Bowden tube inserted. Just pop that C clip back in. This is really requiring some pressure and it's just not feeding through. On the other side of the nozzle, nothing's coming out. Coming out extremely slowly on the other end. Far too much resistance to get a reliable print. The next thing I'm going to do is whip this nozzle out while it's still hot. That was quite tall. There's the nozzle. Try and feed this plastic through. Ah, uh, as suspected, it still doesn't want to move. So I think it's time to disassemble this print head. Get the print core out and see what's going on in there so I'll retract the bowden tube once again i think there's a screw here that comes out now that that cooling fan has separated from the core here i'm actually going to take out this fitting at the top here and have a little peek inside and see what's going on in there this is not hot, by the way, if you're wondering. I still have the nozzle heated to 200 degrees, but this end isn't hot. But oh, look at that. A massive buildup of plastic in here. I wonder if that's part of our problem. I think it might be. Looking straight down into the print core, it doesn't seem to be too much else in the way of the filament going through. What I'll do now is see if I can push some filament through. Now oh, that just goes straight through. A little ball just popped out. This little, this little ball of plastic just fell out. I'm just going to replace this nozzle with a new one. I've got spares of those in here now if you if you're putting nozzles in you get a few seconds to get the first few threads in but while you're holding it before it starts to get too hot and you can't turn it without burning yourself that's as close as i come pretty much to living on the edge i'm going to feed some plastic in Okay, you can see that is flowing quite like nicely through there. Which does, does lead me to believing this, this is all crystallized and horrid up here. It's actually really quite gnarly. Now look at that, it just, it just pulled out. And I can see through it, but there's still something in there kind of blocking it. 
one of the interesting things about this PLA is if it sits hot for too long in the nozzle, it seems to get kind of crystallized and, and horrible. I'm going to insert this back in. Now that I've cleared out that gunk in the top there, just going to feed some more filament. It seems to be going quite all right. I'll get the bowden back in. Get some filament moving through this extruder here. I'm getting it to come through these bits at the end is actually can be quite challenging I've found on these painters. Loading filament, I always seem to need to have the bowden tube off. They could really do with a taper inside of that fitting so that you could feed the filament through a bit more easily. I really feel like this is a bit of a design flaw here. Every time I've loaded new filaments into one of these enders it's always been tricky getting it through this fitting it's easy enough to get it through that hole with a bit of a twist but it just catches up on the side there and very difficult to pass through Okay, now I've got that through. I'll feed it all the way. Nozzle's still hot. So I should be able to push it from here and get some filament flowing. Yes. Success. Alright, C-clip here. C-clip here. I'm going to run the extruder stepper motor in one millimeter increments this time see if I can get some material flowing all right the next thing to do is going to be to put this back together and give it a bit of a try. Okay, I think it's time to load a print and see how it behaves. My first test 3D print come out pretty poor. I'm going to show you that here. You can see the plastic didn't really spread out too much. It was kind of crisscrossy and left a lot of gaps in between the final layers as well. The next thing I did was replace that nozzle again and I just used one of the old nozzles that was in that toolbox over there. Uh, the 3D printer has now been going for about three hours on this job. This is a 14 hour print job and so far it's looking really good. I also changed the filament over to a different roll because when I get this back to work, I want to have different colors available. So I'll show you how the print's going now. By comparison to how it was printing before, that horrible scrappy kind of look is all gone. I did also put in that new magnetic plate down here. Since there was one in the box, I figured I might as well use it. By all indications, this is telling me that I've resolved the initial problems with this 3D printer. So now I can take it back to work and get it back into action. Anyway, that's it for me on this second 3D printer repair journey for the Creality Ender 3.
Thanks for watching.